Oh, hello, my lovelies. Today we're talking about a post that Britney Spears made yesterday where she exposes her dad for insulting her about her weight and a lot more. This was a big post that she made yesterday, so I'm going to go through it and read it for you guys. So without any further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's jump into it. Roll the intro. <laughs> Now, I'm going to go ahead and just put the thing up on the screen because it's going to take a while to read it, so there you go. It's crazy living in Los Angeles. I was thinking about getting a boob job. My boobs are fairly small. I mean, with the raw, right bra, it's fine, but I was curious what a doctor would say. I lost seven pounds in the last six months, and it's a lot for me. I'm officially part of the itty-bitty-titty committee. They shrunk. I don't know where my girls went. Well, I show up to the office, and I'm going to the back walking up eight flights of stairs. I'm like, what the fuck is this? They want you to die before you make it there? F this. Nobody was there to let us in. Uh, how long do we have to wait here? 10 minutes go by, 15 minutes, F that. I've never been back. Then I get home, go online, and see the biggest stars getting facials, with their facialists saying, people don't believe in no filter. This is real. This celebrity has done movies and all that shots so beautifully. What the hell is she trying to prove? I know she's beautiful. I've seen her in person, so it was weird seeing someone like her trying to convince people she's naturally beautiful. Then I said to myself, I do the same thing, but I'm not nearly as beautiful as she is, yet I do the kind of the same thing. I haven't been shot well enough, and I have never been more humiliated and embarrassed in my life during the years of my conservatorship. Yes, I do care, and anyone would say if you saw yourself the way I have. My dad always told me I was fat, and being the heavy girl on stage wasn't fun. It was humiliating. F her dad for that, honestly. I had one good cover in 13 years in my, in my conservatorship. The rest were all extremely bad. They could have at least cheated and used technology, but they used it to make it worse. Such an effing waste of time. I believe all girls care, and if you have ever seen a guy say that there's not that they're not looking at your face, not as not her uh, fiance Sam Asgari, of course, you would understand how it really hurts. So I will admit I do play into how I look. I care, but it disgusted me when I went to that doctor's office because guys were there getting nose jobs. I'm like, WTF? It's really too much. I'm obviously a victim to all the so societal objectifications and exploitations that women are subjective to. I have bought myself into this at times. Sorry, it's a lot. I personally believe a lot of people can be happy whether they, whether they are skinny, old, fat, whatever. If you are happy and have a good energy, you are 100% attractive. 100. Happy people draw light. It's contagious and attractive. God knows the secret to my success and never saw how beautiful I, I never saw how beautiful I was. I was a tease, just a very cool energy. When my family sent me to that place, the main thing that hurt me was the medicine they put me on. You can go brain dead if you take too much. That's how strong it is. It made me stupid and sad. I gained so much weight. I felt ugly, angry, and therefore I was just that. The manipulation behind my family's scheme in subjecting me as if I had done something wrong, so to literally throwing me away and taking all my joy was cruel. Yeah, it was very cruel that they made her feel like this. They No one should ever make somebody, especially if that's your family member, make someone else feel like her family made Britney feel. That's just evil. Just evil. I'm sorry. Like, that's just pure evil. The other day, I started, I started cooking something. I didn't think at all. I ate it in nearly two seconds. Not attractive, but I didn't give an F. I felt two years old with the kind of satisfaction that can only come with the wisest of the wise, and I realized the damage of my thinking. My two sons are geniuses. Jaden can play jazz and literally anything on the piano. His gift scares me. We watched Green Book and he sat down and immediately started playing the blues. It's scary how good he is, but he said the other day, Mama, it's just the thoughts. I think too much. I was like, no, please don't be me. Please, God. No, but in that moment, I realized one thing that really hurt me besides them drugging me like a zombie. It was how desperate I was to survive and get through each day, how much thinking I had to do but my thoughts were exposed 10 hours a day. I didn't have time for private thoughts. Over four months of that, I forgot who I was and no internal thoughts anymore. They just said that it was for me and to have personal time. 
before going there, if you knew me, you knew what I was exact. I was extremely private and didn't talk to anyone. I think I'm still finding myself three years later and that's okay. I just wanted to share this. Do your own research and on these procedures. As hard as it may be, learn to effing love yourself. So that's what Brittany said. And she details a lot in this post, including the whole fact that her dad insulted her repeatedly and called her fat and ugly and no one wants to be the heavy girl on stage. What the hell, James Spears? One, what the actual hell is wrong with you talking to your daughter that way? One, especially when she was the one making most of the money for your family, number two, you would probably be wanting to do everything for your daughter and butt-kissing her, not insulting her. What the hell? Two, the fact that they made her feel like she wasn't pretty or, you know, healthy anymore. The fact that she was drugged repeatedly by these people is just... In this post, she clearly shows that they damaged her self-esteem and confidence in herself, which is just, why? 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 You have to be some of the cruelest, evilest people to do that to somebody. Like, the hell. I'm sorry, but just what the hell? Then she talks about how she doesn't want her son to start overthinking like she did, and, you know, I... That's just coming from a motherly place. It's like, don't, don't, do my, don't do my mistakes. Don't do what I did. But that's just extremely sad. And F her dad. Just F James Spears. I'm sorry, but like, what the hell? How in the head, how messed up in the head do you have to be to do that to your daughter? Like... I'm sorry, just, wow, I'm mind blown by how cruel and disgusting. Just. And yeah, you can go brain dead on a lot of the stuff that they were giving her. It's, a, it's no surprise that they didn't succeed in trying to make her go brain dead. So they had a legitimate reason for this conservatorship. Like, <sighs> that's what I got for you guys today. What are your thoughts about this? Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Please, if you feel like it, hit the like button and maybe hit the subscribe button. I talk about all kinds of things. It's random on this corner of the internet, hence the name. I talk about books. I talk about movies, anime, internet news like this, internet drama. Uh, it's a, there's a lot of, it's a large array of content. So if you feel like it, please hit the subscribe button. Maybe hang around and find something you like on the channel. So yeah, there's the whole YouTuber spiel. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great day. Bye.